We have a bunch of Virtrix toys here, and we wanted to give them away. So, before the sun goes all the way down, we have a quick competition. Oh, God. Oh, God. Somewhere <laughs> out there. Oh, is this the telemetry? I didn't bring my, I didn't bring, I didn't, I got the car. We got, we got two, it's okay. okay. <laughs> Somewhere out there is a GPS that we've lost. Uh, I know what the telemetry signal is, and so there are going to be two teams, and whoever finds it first wins some of the toys. Depending on how that first round goes, we may have a couple more rounds. So, we are going to split up the teams, starting with Lauren over here and Jeff over here. Oh. <laughs> Toys no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> All right, David and Gary, one of you pick a side, the other pick the other side. I'm gonna put Heather on this side and probably Alex over here. Yeah, Eleanor over here and Sheila on this side. What's your team name? <laughs> Winning. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe not. It's pronounced whining. <laughs> What's your team name? The Tracking Trackers. Tracking Trackers. The Tracking Tigers. The Tracking Tigers. Tracking Tigers versus the... The Super Pickers. You have one. Super Pickers. This is a test to see if anybody has done their homework and knows how to run these things. Uh, <laughs> okay, but there is a catch. There is a catch. Okay. At some point, we will communicate with you through a radio that it's time to switch. Okay. And... At that point, right now, Lauren and Heather are holding the uh, transmitter or the receivers. Yeah. When we say switch, you have to give that to somebody else. Heather's <laughs> 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 face. Yeah. All right. On the uh, same so team to, to, to make sure that you all know how to use it. I'll vlog us. Nice. Okay. So go ahead and give them the test there. Okay. So I don't know how to be using radios. Do you? <laughs> I'm saying it to the camera. What you love? I didn't even to Okay, so the push to so, talk, PTT. So, right, so you push that and then you wait for the beat. Nope. No. Um, beat so talk. Here's, Fail. Here's what it is. We're gonna, exactly, <laughs> you push, you hold it down, and then you transmit, and then you let go. And now wait you beep. wait for the beep. Wait. No! Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, so okay, let's uh, do it again. <laughs> Push and hold, push to talk right now. Okay, so before you keep saying, wait for the beat. And now let go, now listen. Ah, now you can talk right. again. And now I can reply to you. <laughs> yeah. ah! <laughs> Alright, so 434.255. Alright, friends, let's do it. Okay guys, so you're probably wondering what the heck are we doing with our free flight students right now? And Dave actually had the idea to send Rachel out while we were distracting everybody inside and she went and hid a bunch of GPS like transmitters, correct? Yeah, so this was kind of funny. It was like a joke in the car. We're like, hey, we should do this. And somebody was like, what is Rachel doing? We're like, I don't know, she's Looking a lost soul. Like, oh yeah, she, and she found one event while well, she She's on a leg anyway, eventually. Anyway, it's fine. But. Yeah, so we told everybody that she was looking for tarantulas and she was actually setting these GPS transmitters and we had a telemetry game, which is something that we've wanted to do for a while, ever since I got together with Marshalls and they played the game with me. Um, and so we did this with our team and we broke our group into two teams, which you're gonna see shortly, and we had them go out and find these. And the point of this is to not only work on their skills, but also introduce them to how all of this stuff works, how easy it is to work, because I think sometimes it comes off very intimidating. I know I was intimidated with all of this stuff in the very beginning until I actually applied it and did it. So we're really just working on everybody's skills and knowledge, and also it's bond building. Yeah, it was cool to watch them try to figure it out, and we kept telling them when they'd have to switch, and it just made it, made it a fun team exercise. Yeah, so we hope you guys enjoy it and get a lot out of how much fun we have behind the scenes here at Vertrix. So I've actually personally never done this, so I have no idea if they're just blindly going out in the desert or not. <laughs> <laughs> but they are getting a blip, um, so I think that's a good sign. They're also nowhere near it. All right, everybody, it's time to switch to somebody else. Switch to somebody else right now. Yeah, I'm wondering if they're gonna find the wrong one too early. They're like really far out there too. Wrong person to choose. 
under things. <laughs> I picked up some bottles and some cans. Oh, and I put them under that and then I tied one to a bush. So <laughs> legit. Good luck, y'all. I yeah. do want to say the other one's like right behind me on the top of the truck. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our truck? Yeah. That's awesome. So we should have started this earlier in the day so it wasn't going to get dark. I tried. And now it's time for the second change. Right now, everybody has to switch the gun again to somebody who has not yet used it. <laughs> so <laughs> Dave's all like relieved. <clears throat> and he says to me, oh, look, they're going the right way. And I'm like, well, the other group is not. They are going in well, two totally different directions. On the same signal, though. On the same signal. So one group is doing it very wrong. So Rachel hit these earlier. And uh, if they were smart, they would just follow these footprints. We'll see how smart they are. <laughs> They're way out there. Did you go out that far, Rach? Uh, maybe. <laughs> got distracted by rocks. We're pretty close to number two here, Rachel. Yeah, that one's in a bush somewhere. <laughs> they sounded like they might have found it. thought I heard a little commotion. Somebody just fell. <laughs> Maybe with this group, you never know what they'll get. They'll get excited about that footprint okay. thing's genius. I see these footprints oh, out here. <laughs> I see what you mean about being distracted. <laughs> and here it is again. Time to switch. Who's holding the telemetry gun? Go ahead and switch. You know how people were trying to give you directions to Fox the other day, and like the proximity of like where they yeah. were standing. <laughs> to where they were. I finally understand it. <laughs> I feel like it's a decoy because it's not connected. So it's it's, it's blinking orange. red. It's Does blinking that orangish red. I put it. It's not connected to I, I disconnected it to the satellite. Oh. Okay. Well, it's in like extended mode, go. so. Now I know that Rachel was not looking for tarantulas. Okay, so... <laughs> What'd you guys what, learn? What'd you guys learn? Um, it's not as hard as I thought. No? Okay. It's good. What else? Slow down. Do yeah. your circles. Like, we were, like, in the race, we were, like, more, like, trying to find a bird in panic mode, right? So, we were just kind of rushing on far and probably stopping more often to switch to medium do a slow circle and see if you're picking up anything would have been better. Okay. Good. So. How'd you guys work together? Do you work well together? Yeah. Lauren, yeah. I think, is the most experienced with telemetry, right. and so she took charge. Catalyzed by a bottle of wine three <clears throat> days ago. <laughs> I mean, as far as determining when when is the proper time to turn down, yeah. and once you hit the 10, mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's a finessing. That mm -hmm. And then the rest of us was just kind of looking, yeah. I guess. My secret was I watched Jamie's haystack video and then came out here with a glass of rosé under a low pressure situation. Um, to you want to start with far. If you if you have a signal far, try going to medium. If you don't okay. have a signal medium, then you're you got to go back to far. Okay. If you're at far and it's blown out, then you tune to medium. If you're still blown out, you're probably really close. Go to close or near or whatever. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna give you guys the next number. Was that valuable for you guys? That was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. There's a campfire and probably drinks afterwards. Do you want to give them two different ones? Yeah. 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 That way we're not following yeah, each other. Yeah, because okay. I don't want them to get a head start and then have them just get followed. So, so we Jeff can do is it. a snake. We can do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so everyone's loving each other. <laughs> He's really getting along. Okay, yep. so we're already five, five. there. So remember, we want to start first with the far, okay. and we're going to turn the volume all the way up just to see if we can see a signal. So now do your sweep. In a big circle? Okay, so we totally, we got a signal, right? Yeah. And it's above 10, so what do we do? We turn it down. Right. And then we And then keep, the now refind your signal. Right yeah. And now do the sweep, though, to make sure it's the loudest. Did this Rachel? Oh, yeah, see how? Found rocks. But we, so we have different transmitters? You both have two different, uh, two different ones. Okay, so where's the strongest? Right there. All right, so let's keep going. And make sure to do your sweep as you're walking. That's what Jamie taught us. Did everybody get a turn on this yep. thing so far out of your group? Yep. Oh, yeah. At cool. this point, you guys can switch as, as you want. 
So yep. Either for Just make sure everybody gets a turn. You guys are welcome to switch. Who's who's running it? Yeah, she looks like she's Okay. Wow, the sky is stunning right now. This guy. The sky. This oh. <laughs> guy. Not this guy. <laughs> Sheila, you loving that radio? <laughs> we should have got them all drunk first. I thought about it, but... <laughs> then it would be the game that never ends. So they're still looking for it. At least they're going in the right direction. Meanwhile, we're looking at rocks, doing really important stuff, yeah. making jokes. <laughs> Comfortable. The best jokes. But, yeah. <laughs> the best jokes. <laughs> and only we find her funny, so we don't share them on camera. Yeah. <laughs> Top secret jokes. <laughs> Near signal and we're running out of daylight. Here it is. Woo! <laughs> Sucker! <laughs> Chicken dinner! Good job, guys. So Sheila, you stood out on that last one when you had him do the circle. You're the only one that was like, it's definitely this Got direction. It. Good job. We're going to give you their signal, I think, and have you guys compete for the last one. All okay. Right. Next one is 155. This is the final one. You're both going to the same one. 155. That sounded amazing. I just want to say Alex is killing it. She's looking in places where a bird would actually be instead of getting too hung up on the actual beeping of the telemetry. She knows the general area and so now she's literally just using her eyes which is what a lot of people forget to do when they do this drill and something I forgot to do. I forgot to actually look for I think it's important so. to realize too that with like Cressy or African Grey, when she gets lost, she goes quiet. So even though you think your bird would hear you and make noise if you're this close, it doesn't mean it's true. So yeah, everybody's just around here, but they're getting really thrown off from bouncing signals, which haven't actually been bouncing. <clears throat> so Jeff just broke off too to do the same. Okay, when I did this with Marshalls, one of the things that I forgot to do that Alex and Jeff have been doing very well, I forgot to use my eyes. I forgot to look in places that a bird would actually be. I got so centered on the beep that I didn't use my eyes. And since you guys are in groups, since you guys are in groups, you can really designate people to actually use their eyes instead of gather around too much with the gun. Take the most experienced person with the gun and have the other people really be the eyes. Good job, Alex. It's still... I don't know. Good job, Sheila. It is not on the roof of the house. It is not on the house. Yeah, we're not having anybody climb the roof of the house. Not on the four-wheeler. I was wanted I wanted to look at the roofs of the cars, but I do not see it on the roof. It's probably bouncing off the metal. I mean I it's strongest. Well it's definitely bouncing off a lot of crap. Oh I got it, it's right here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Woo! <laughs> I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! All right. Hey Sheila, what did you do during this exercise that you don't do when you free fly? It's trust my instinct. Yes! Good job! You were right every time. Something I noticed at the end, the two of you triangulated where it was. You're yeah. like, it's strong as here, and you guys are pointing right to Jeff. <laughs> so, really, really good job. Good, because that's yeah. most likely where a bird would be. Where do they land, or where do they crash, right? Around yeah. cars? That's where Elliot went the day before yesterday. Exactly, so that's why I thought Alex is the only one that's actually looking for a bird. And then Jeff 
followed suit and he's like, you know what? I'm gonna use my eyes, just did it naturally. It's something I never did until I was told to do it because I just got so hyper-focused on the beep. On the one that we did with her, we put it on top of this like semi-trailer height haystack. And it was mm. like, where is it? <laughs> and uh, so yeah, it's, yeah, this was a really fun exercise to see you guys do it because <laughs> that means next time you guys get to find the birds. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So Rhonda, good job. I noticed you telling everyone like, hey, stop, let's triangulate, like, let's figure this out. Let's do a circle, keeping everybody's heads in the right spot. Sheila, I was so impressed because there were so many times you were the only one hearing the beep and you were like, I swear it's this way. And the rest of the team's like, mm. <laughs> and you trusted yourself enough to be like, we're going this way. So I did it multiple times and I was like, dang, Sheila's on it. I hope she trusts herself and like convinces her team to get behind her. So really, really good job. Good leadership skills, everybody. That was yeah, fun, that huh? Was great. Yeah, I, somebody, I, somebody else loves like exercise. <laughs> <laughs> we knew we could get you guys to thank us for exercise. <laughs> awesome. Well, let's, uh, let's go, go in, inside. Warm up. I'll get the fire started here in a bit. We'll get some food going. And uh, good job, guys. Yeah, good job. You setting out the prizes. Beautiful bird chicks notebooks. <laughs> well, I got it back. Thank you. Everybody's having a good time. Uh, yeah. And it's, and it's like a six. Oh, David, have you checked your uh, WhatsApp? Oh, no. Yeah. Check. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Gary. Gary. Oh. <laughs> So lovely, so grateful. Thank you, thank you. Oh yes. Thank you, Rachel.